Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to take a full backup of MariaDB or MySQL database. So first of all, what I would like to do, I would like to create a directory in which we will take the backup. So let's see where we are right now. We are on the root directory. I would like to create a directory called the MySQL backup by using this command. So we will say sudo mk directory and then provide the directory name. Okay, we are good here. Let's check if the directory is created and we can see that uh, the directory is created. As of now, the owner of this directory is the root. Uh, let's uh, change uh, the owner of this directory to the MySQL. So MySQL will have full permission on this uh, directory. So we can uh, use a C change owner uh, command here. So sudo ch uh, owner, it means change owner, recursive to the MySQL and uh, this is the directory. Okay, let's go ahead and run it and uh, take a look on the ownership of the directory so mysql ownership is changed to the mysql so this directory ownership is mysql that's great next step what we can do we can use the root user to take the backups but i would suggest to create a backup user for mariadb so let's log into the mariadb first and then we'll create a backup user so mysql dash u dash root so we are logging into the MariaDB by using our root uh, user and uh, let me clear this uh, so we can see it clear on top. Here we are saying create user backup at the rate local host uh, identify the password. Now you see here if uh, I'm going to connect from another node then I will be providing uh, the IP address of that uh, node. Okay so in my case I'm going to be connected from the same host so I'm using a local host. Okay great. So now you go ahead and run it. It's a operation failed. Uh, create user. Um, maybe the one of the reason it uh, happened because uh, the user does exist already. So let me see. Um, we can say drop user and then I'm going to copy this one because I was testing this before creating the video. So that could be one thing. Okay, so the user is dropped and I'm going to recreate for you. So that was the reason if the user is already there, if you try to create the same user, it will give you error. Now I dropped the user and recreated it, so we, we are all good. Next part, I would like to provide some permissions to this user. So in this case, I selected some permission that I feel like, okay, grant, reload, lock tables, replication, client, process, super grant, insert, select, and all that. You can further... Uh, filter or identify the uh, permission you don't need for backup and uh, then uh, exclude them but in my case uh, I just took um, uh, these are looks like the important uh, permission they will play a role in the backup so so I'm gonna go ahead and provide this permission to this user so if we will say show grants for uh, I believe uh, we have provided the username then it should uh, show us uh, the permissions and everything let's see if we have to say show grants for okay so if you say show grants for username it will provide you all the permission of a user uh, what it has next step uh, we will come to the uh, terminal uh, and uh, command line and then uh, uh, run the mysql dump command to take the backup so I'm gonna exit from MariaDB and then uh, we'll use uh, the one of the thing we didn't do it uh, which database uh, we want to take the backup uh, so let me connect real quick uh, take a look we have uh, tons of databases here so show databases and if you see that I have uh, uh, test DB 99 and all those different let's take the backup of test DB 98 uh, we are gonna go ahead and uh, system clear but actually let me exit from here so and uh, say clear so you can see the commands uh, we will uh, test db in my case uh, 98 so I'm gonna prepare the query right here and then uh, put it uh, right there so you can see test db 98 okay let me use the query for you now we are using mysql dump uh, that will uh, take the backup of uh, mariadb or mysql database uh, so we are saying user backup user and then password whatever the password we have here and the name of the database uh, and then provide the location of where the backup will be taken so in our case we are at the root mysql backup directory and the name of the 
SQL file. So where we would like, this is our backup file that will be generated. So let's go ahead and run it. And now it was quick, it is small database, so, so not a big deal. So if we go here and take a look, so CD, MySQL backups, and let's see LS minus L. So yeah, so if you want to see details, you can see that how much the size and everything is when it is created. So test DB dot SQL, that's the backup is created. So that's how you will be taking the backup of a single database in MariaDB or MySQL uh, um, databases. Uh, what I will do, I will create another video where you will be able to schedule these uh, backups. Uh, so by using current tabs, uh, we will be scheduling these uh, backup jobs. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys uh, in the next video.